So, Dr. Ashton here. Uh, I teased it a second ago, this question from a viewer about sunscreen. What should I look for in a sunscreen for both kids and adults? This is a really interesting question, and we cannot, we could do a whole hour on this, TJ, but basically, <laughs> it's not just what you should look for to have be in there, it's what shouldn't be in there as well, and we're learning more and more about that in the last couple of years, because uh, something called EWG, the Environmental Working Group, um, and the FDA has really done a deep dive into the ingredients in sunscreens and found that there are only two right now, zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, dioxide that are found to be safe and effective all of these other ingredients that when we read that label all those chemical ingredients many of them thought to be potentially dangerous endocrine disruptors potentially carcinogenic leading to cancer because they are absorbed rapidly through our skin the largest organ in the body the largest and most worrisome ingredient is something called oxybenzone so you can actually go to the ewg.org site okay. they rate every single sunscreen on the market with respect to its safety. This is based on FDA criteria, but dermatologists will tell you right now, the key is also treading that fine line and using a sunscreen that's UVA, UVB blocking, reapplying it every two hours and using it regardless of your skin color, 365 days a year. Say the website again for people. EWG.org. And I actually went on this morning, right. looked at the sunscreen I use every single morning and found its score in there. But um, I think we're gonna be hearing a lot more about this in the future. All right, prescription for wellness day. It is about something you love, your tea. Yes. Ah. And the potential health benefits, in particular found in the herbal tea, uh, those containing hibiscus. Um, there has been reports in the nutritional literature about uh, this type of tea being rich in disease-fighting antioxidants. That's a good thing. It can lower your blood pressure, TJ, even three to five points. That's the upper and lower number, and potentially your bad cholesterol. And it can help fight inf inflammation and may even promote a little bit of weight loss as long as you don't add too much sugar to it. Well, all right, Dr. Ashton, thank you for you all of that. Keep your questions coming to us uh, at ABC GMA3. You can find us there on Instagram. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.